Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test on HTC Uplay smartphone and we will see that how much score it is going to get and we will compare those results, those scores with rest of the smartphones currently available in the market as well. So let's start it. HTC Uplay, it comes with octa-core Helio P10 processor, 4GB of RAM and 3GB of RAM as well. There are two variants. The one we got here, it is having 4GB of RAM and 64GB internal storage. It runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow OS and there is 5.2 inch Full HD screen provided along with Mali T860 GPU. So let's start our benchmarking test and let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to contribute in this test so today we are having five benchmarking applications here out of these five we have already performed four to save your time and we will just have a look on this score and the last one we will do right here in front of you so let's start with the entry benchmarking it is one of the most popular benchmarking applications and here is the score it's just 54,188 and uh, this is uh, not so good score because we have performed the very same benchmarking test on few other devices running on the same hardware specs like Helio P10, Android 6 Marshmallow OS, same GPU, same amount of RAM but the performance of those devices were a bit better than the HTC U Play. And actually we tried to run the test multiple times and each time the score was between 54,000 and 55,000. So this is an accurate score, it's not an error. So if we go to the ranking tab here, you can see the entry benchmarking score of few of the latest and the best flagship devices iPhone 7 Plus is having 184,546. That's too big more than three times of our uplay and uh, here is the HTC uplay it's at 51st position in this list that's the last position with 54,188 score so this is uh, a poor score we can say in terms of entry benchmarking but let's go back and let's have a look on the rest of these scores so the second one is base mark OS 2 Let's go to the results tab directly and here we are having the score it is 1049 for system it's 2300 for memory 1241 for graphics it's 669 and for web browsing 632 so these are the individual scores in four different tests for base mark os2 but our main concern is the overall score and that's one 1049 so it is a moderate score it's not so great and it's not bad as well considering the hardware specs of HTC U play uh, this score is quite good and you will find a similar score with the rest of the smartphones running on the same um, hardware specs so this is quite good you can watch our previous videos uh, where we have performed all these benchmarking tests on few other smartphones and then you will get the better idea that how much this HTC Uplay is performing with respect to them but basically this score is quite good and now let's go back and let's have a look on Basemark X this is basically a gaming benchmarking test so the performance and the score of this test uh, rely a lot on the GPU performance so let's have a look on the results once again and it is 14,465 so once again this score is not bad it's a quite good and moderate score for this hardware specs uh, with respect to the rest of the smartphones and just to give you an idea that Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or HTC 10 last year's flagship devices they scored between 35 38 to uh, around 40,000 so you can get the idea if you have used any of those devices but we will do a detailed gaming review of HTC Uplay very soon where we will see that how good this device is basically performing and how good is the GPU 
and I forgot to tell you one thing that when I was uh, doing the entity benchmarking and also the Basemark X for the GPU part when there was a GPU testing then the performance of Uplay was not so good there were lots of frame drops and the skipping of frames so it clearly shows that something is wrong with the GPU it's, it's not performing so good and that's why there were frame drops and some skips when we were performing the Basemark X and Antutu benchmarking test but we will do that how good this device will perform in real life scenario while doing our detailed gaming review and the fourth one here is Geekbench 4 we have performed this test as well so let's go to the results directly there are two tests basically and the first test is uh, CPU and for CPU for single core the score is 743 and for multi-core it is 2854 once again this is a, a moderate score it's not great and it's not bad as well here you will get lots of information about the device and if you go to the single core tab here you can compare the result of HTC you play the score with rest of the smartphones so you can see that Samsung Galaxy S7 it is scored 1806 and if we scroll down then LG Nexus 5 is scoring 859 that is the uh, smallest score the lowest score in this list and after that our HTC Uplay comes in the list and if you go to the multi-core so it's 2854 let's just scroll down and here you will find Huawei Nexus 6P it is having 2848 so, so this is the exact score that our device HTC Uplay is also getting so if you have used Nexus 6P so you can get the idea that the performance of HTC Uplay will be pretty much similar to that device and now let's go back and let's have a look on the score of another test that's compute and it is 1512 as you can see here and if you just tap on this compute tab once again you can compare the score with another devices so here is Asus Nexus 7 with 1366 and our device is scored 1512 so it is between Samsung Galaxy S6 and Nexus 7 device so we can see that in few tests HTC Uplay is performing good and in few tests the performance of HTC Uplay is not so good especially where GPU is getting involved and the last test for today is quadrant standard we will do this test right here in front of you so let's just start the test and as you can see it's a detailed test for memory 2d graphics 3d graphics input output speed and also once the test is finished we will have a look on the score and we will see that how much our HTC Uplay achieved in this test so the test is finished now and here is the score it is 23,365 and uh, in the list of other devices there are pretty old devices like HTC One X, Asus Transformer Prime, Motorola Atlas 4G so all of these devices they scored less than 5,000 and our device scored 23,000 that's more than four times so if you have used any of these older devices like HTC One X, Asus Transformer so you can get the idea that HTC Uplay must perform at least like twice or three times better than these devices. So overall HTC Uplay is getting mixed score we can say in benchmarking test. Sometimes it's performing good, sometimes it's performing low. And the reason behind this is uh, the GPU used in this device it is not so great and uh, we have clearly 
witnessed the frame drops and skipping of frames while performing base mark X and Android benchmarking uh, graphics test. But we will see once again that uh, how good it's going to perform when we are doing some uh, real life test in the form of gaming review. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this. And you can also get in touch with me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram by visiting the links given in the description of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.